Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, today we're out here again on Lake Palestine, but I'm doing something that uh, really I haven't done in a long time, thermocline. I know everybody is uh, kind of issue, has an issue with thermocline. What is it? There's so many wrong answers, so many right answers. Uh, how does it affect the fishing? Uh, what does it look like? Today I'm gonna show you, uh, at least on live scope, and I believe I can see it on, on to, uh, uh, down scan as well on my graph. I'm gonna show you what those look like today. Talk about where the fish are. Can this help you catch fish? Can it not? It just kind of happens. Uh, and who has thermocline? Y'all stay tuned, guys. We're going to cover all this. So, guys, if y'all would right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the bell for notification let you know when we do a new show. I love watching subscribers grow, guys. We're, we're growing, not huge. We're just growing, and I like that. Um, I love the fact that uh, I get to see a lot of you guys on the lake and the various lakes I go. But anyway, if you would, hit that like button, subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in just a second. Talk about Thermo Klein. All right, guys, so let's talk about thermocline real quick. So uh, start this here. Okay, so in front of me, and this is, we got some better examples out there, but look at the trees. Um, you can see where there's some fish right about 12, 14, down to 18 roughly. You can see on the, on the uh, live scope exactly where that thermocline is coming into. So. The way it works, thermocline, take this lake and divide it up into three. It's really a few more, but the main three are the, are the things. So you have your normal water, you have your stratification level, which is, man, this wind, I'm sorry, which is uh, the thermocline, then you have the dead zone below it. Dead zone has oxygenated water, depends on the lake, but um, usually less than one uh, percent, one, yeah, one percent. Uh, usually like a 0 0.4 or a 0 0.04 area. I won't get too technical in there. The thermocline is going to be a little better, but it's still going to be a fish can swim in it. You see there's one in there now, uh, a couple in there now. Um, I got, in fact, I have the live scope real hot so you can see this. Um, but uh, it's going to have more of a 1 to 2% ratio where you get up to the topper layer. That's to the higher level, the top layer. That's where you're going to have your five, six, seven, eight, nine percent uh, oxygenated water within there. So basically, that's kind of what um, thermocline is. Thermocline happens obviously during the summer, um, several times a year, especially on our lakes, because our lakes uh, basically have a spillway. That's all they have is a spillway. When the water, we have enough rain up north or on us, and the creeks fill up, it drains into our lake. So right now, we hadn't had a rain in gosh pretty close to a dang month now and uh there's nothing coming in so that water at the bottom is just stagnant it's 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 a uh, a cooler water it just makes a barrier the oxygenation in there is is real low and there's nothing coming in from the from the uh up north to push that water and stir it our believe it or not our wind is up right now we haven't had any major storms because the major storms also help churn that water especially when you're into uh, uh we got a max foot of about 35 foot on this lake so it's it's uh it takes a lot of wind 
a lot of water and everything else to, to keep that thermocline from happening. So some of you guys who are on a lake such as uh, Ouachita River or Tennessee River, um, some, of those, some of those river system lakes, you guys probably don't have as much of a thermocline. You probably have it in the pockets, um, but in that main river channel, as long as water is coming in there and stirring it up, you're not going to see it. So uh, anyway, let's just try to catch a couple fish here, kind of get an idea of what uh, is going on. So again, in fact, you know, better yet, I'm going to go somewhere else real quick and show you a different view of it. Then we're going to show it to you on, uh, on uh, down scan, see what happens. All right, guys, this, so this is the down scan view of what we were just looking at there. So this is your good water. Um, this is your bottom. And right there is your thermocline. Now, you can, if you look at it real, real closely, and you're probably not going to be able to see it there, but there is a small, thin line at the very bottom between the thermocline and the uh, bottom. That is what's considered the dead zone, that third layer where the water is just hardly any oxygen in it. So that's how you can see it. It looks, it looks like fog, looks like cloud. The problem is it's just a, it's kind of like oil and you got water on top. They're just not mixing right now. Let's go find a better place. So let's go find a better place on the lake. Uh, I was at one on the other day and I had, I think, uh, it was up to 16 feet was a thermocline. So let's go take a look at that. Guys, it's just too rough to get out there right now um, to find any more therm thermocline. But that gives you a good example. So when I was out here the other day, um, I was in 20 foot of water, thermocline extended up about six feet. So I was catching those fish in around the 20 to 18 um, mark. You just see them kind of balled up. I think I have some video from last week where I can show you that as well. But that's the biggest thing, guys. Thermocline. Um, so basically, what it what it winds up being, it, it it makes a bunch of your water unusable. So at this point in time in here, I'm uh, 11 foot, and I don't think we can see. Let me. See, I, don't, I don't see a very pronounced thermocline here on size. So well, there is. You can see right there. So it looks like it's uh, 11 foot deep. So there's your. Oh yeah, there we go. So it's 11 foot deep, or 12 foot deep. There's your uh, bottom and your thermocline extends up to about right there at about eight foot. So let me zoom in a little bit if I can. I'll hold it, do it right there and do it on the computer. But that kind of shows your thermocline in different areas. So something very good to look at. <coughs> if you've heard of thermocline all your life, you've never, you never seen it, that's what it looks like. Um, when it's really pronounced, like it was the other day, you could see it on 2D as well. Um, when you get into 2D, well, I'm not going to do a whole tutorial on it, but when you get into 2D, you'll see it. It just looks like a little purple fuzz, like a haze uh, through there. So, uh, But it's just constant. Um, anyway, hey, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Get this, guys. Thermocline's a big deal. It can help you out fishing. It can hurt you fishing, depending on where you're fishing and not knowing where the fish are. So you figure out where that thermocline level is, fish above that, you're going to be good most of the time. But you kind of look at it from a standpoint of, uh, say I have a pond in my backyard and uh, it's normally at 12 foot. If the water drops all the way to 6 foot, that only gives me 6 foot of lake to fish, if that makes sense. You look at the thermocline the same way. The lake's 12 foot deep, but your thermo uh, thermoclines uh, and the dead layer take up the last, say, uh, four foot, for instance. Well, then that gives you eight feet to eight, nine, ten, yeah, <laughs> sorry, early morning. So it gives you about eight foot to fish, kind of like if the lake was down low, eight foot. Make, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notification, and we'll see you guys on the next week. Take care.